So we were saying that Le Cirque is definitely a hot spot for so many celebrities. Do you pride yourself on creating a loyal and celebrity-driven customer base or that you guys serve just amazing food? Well, it's good to be able to do, and we're still doing, but it's not a formula that you say, do this and then come. People come if they want to come. The rest of us can never become too sumptuous. Me, me, me. You do that and people accept it. Well, you've definitely helped launch the careers of so many amazing chefs. You have a great eye for talent. What do you look for in a chef? Chef that is better than me. Is there any character trait that you hope they have? No, the way they talk and the way they do, the way they behave. To, to be a chef, to be a leader, to be whatever you want, you have to want it to do. You have to tell the people that you want. And most of all, you have to show the people that you want to do. What's it like working with your sons? I know you guys all work very closely together. Bad for them. <laughs> But my sons are very good. They are extremely good. And more or less, more or less, they get along. That is the important thing. They get along among themselves. And this is very important. So one of the things that most diners comment on is that Le Cirque is this circus theme. What made you create the restaurant around that? I come to this country with the idea or stayed a few months. I'm still here. I'm, but I'm fortunate, I'm very Italian. I like what I like. I am strictly Italian. I want to be Italian. People don't confuse me with any other race because I don't accept that. What are the main differences that diners can expect between their experience at Le Cirque and at your other restaurant, Sirio Ristorante? But most of our, our, our restaurants too, they have this kind of uh, flair that people come because, because they want to come. We are doing very well in Vegas and, and, and you know, we are, we are also in the Dominican Republic and the politician, American politician, they should know the South American, when they are rich, they are really rich. Right. And they don't care about crime or anything. They want what they want. So, we're doing very well in Vegas. We're doing very well in the Dominican Republic. Uh, we're doing well. I was reading part of your book, and I found it really interesting that you refer to a lot of your customers as your clients, and you never say, my friend. No. Why no, is that? Friend. But you've known some of them for decades. They can say that they are my friends. But it would be presumptuous for me to say, I've been friend, really. One of the less, the, less, the less big men that wrote me the Christmas card was the King of Spain. But I know him well. I know him well. I've been in guest with in Spain. And uh, but they can say, you cannot say. And it's also for a self-presentation. If you are friendly with everybody, and then they come in here one time and they have to wait five minutes, they don't remember anymore that they are friends. They say, how you do this to me? So I don't go to that extreme. I just, we do the best we can. And I, agree, I, I disagree with many of my very good people, but they say, don't worry, worry. Worry and worry. You know, but sometimes, even now, but in the past, to get a reservation here was one of the most difficult things to do in, in New York. Right. And so they said, oh, come, don't worry. I would say, come, and I do my best. That's all. What about locally? Is there anywhere you like to eat? Yeah, yeah. at home. At home? At home. My wife is uh, the best food in the world. The best food in New York for me, when I get more about the so-called great food of New York, I go home and I eat in the way I want. Tell me a little bit about your wife. She was a famous singer, I hear. Very here. intelligent. She's very strong. She, she's good. What's your favorite dish that she cooks? Simple dish. We have a dish in, in Italy, Tuscany, we call it Molito Misto. I have contaminated all the great chefs, the Bolbocus, they all say, if your last dish was Molito Misto, Italian style. The creme brulee is our reinvention, because creme brulee 
is English, to one, more than 200 years ago. But he came back in 1963 when we, with the help of the king of Spain, went to Spain. They have a dish called crema catalana, which is more or less a creme brulee, but done in a different way. So we went in there, and uh, my wife uh, got the idea, and she, she, she changed it. And it's what it is now, everybody has a creme brulee. Do you have creme brulee on the menu here? Yes. Do you also have it at your other restaurant, in the uh, Pierre? Do you have it at Syria? We have a logo. And not only us, Paul Bocuse, the, for me, is the great uh, rest of the great chef in the world. As creme brulee at the menu, and it never changed. And only great, simple thing can become complicated food, complicated life, uh, they never get.